So we are here with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about core. I got about four exercises for you and I am gonna give you some modifications. I'm gonna give you things that you can do in the gym because I'm gonna use some of my cables. Um, and then I'm gonna give you things to do if you don't have access to a cable. Uh, things that I will actually sometimes do with my clients like with uh, the tube and stuff. So the first exercise that we're gonna start with because then I'm gonna push this out of the way is gonna be like a cable crunch and then I'll demo it with the tube. The important thing is that you get the form right. Because when you do a cable crunch, a lot of the times people just move their hips and there's no flex of the actual abs. So when you're, when you're flexing the abs, you, they can actually go back in this direction, which is lower back and full stretch, and then crunching in and curling the spine and bringing the ribs down towards the hips. You got to get that movement when you're doing this. So you don't want to use super, super heavy weight. Um, because we're not trying to get our abs to be bulky. The abs are a muscle, so they will grow. So we just want long and lean. So I open up my feet, I kneel down, I pull my cable, and you can use a rope or you can use this handle, and I pull it right here, right next to my chest. Now I get myself in my starting position. So this is my starting position. Now you notice the angle of my hip will not change because I am just going to go back a little bit and then crunch. So the angle of my hip should not change. I mean, the tiniest bit, if it is, don't judge me. But I'm crunching. My abs are flexing. Ugh. Okay? A small movement. So all here, crunching. So now, if you do not have access to cable, where's my son's little chair here? So we're going to move this out of the way. Actually, we're going to move it this way. And now I'm going to show it to you with the tube. So we do the exact same thing. So now you have a tube and you attach it to something up top. You grab onto your tube, you put it in the same position. You get your starting position and you crunch. Same thing. And sometimes it's really good to do with the tube because, as I've mentioned in previous videos, when you pull the tube, it starts out heavy and then it gets heavier and heavier and heavier as you crunch. So, now we're going to move on to the next one. So, we're going to go to some core. I am also going to give modifications for this one as well. You can actually do this hanging, or you can do this in these ab things, which they should actually be lower. Uh, so, let's see if I can move them real quick. Oh, no, they don't go on the low one. Okay. So, you're going to put your hands in these. Now, you can buy these for like $5.00. They sometimes come with that little pull-up bar. You can buy them in any sporting goods store and on Amazon. So you go here. Now remember, if you don't have these, you can just hold on to any bar. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do, and I'm gonna move this over to the side. Okay. So you're gonna bring your knees in, but again, it's gotta be, you have to control it. So legs are straight, bring the legs up. So make sure there's control, okay? So. Then, just moving my arm, then you can also do some obliques. So they're called windshield wipers. So you want to start and then go around. Now, I'm really trying to watch that I don't kick this thing. If that's too difficult, then a modification for that could be just bringing the knees up to the side. Okay? And then you practice doing the full windshield wiper all the way around. Real windshield wipers a banana sandwich. So you actually hold on to here or up there, your butt, your legs go up and face the ceiling and you wash the window. You know what? I will show you a modification on the ground to a windshield wiper. Arms go out to the side, legs go up, and you go from side to side, making sure mm, that that opposite shoulder doesn't come off the ground. Okay, we're gonna move on to the last one, and that is gonna be your wheel or your plate, and I'm gonna also give you modifications. If you're super, super strong, you can do this on the toes. I'm not doing it on the toes. So, the point here is yet again, another thing with the hips. So this is not a rollout. And you'll sometimes see people doing them that way. You have to drop your body. So, you, Drop your body, pull it back in. Keep this nice and tight. Drop your body, ugh, pull it back in. Some people can touch the ground. Notice how I really do like to do them with the knees open. If you don't have a wheel, 
You could do it the same way here or with a towel on a wood floor. So, you roll out and pull in. It's a little bit harder. Now, if it's really hard for you to get in, but you want to see how far you can go, you could do it a different way. What you could do is start in this position. You want to go all the way out, slow, 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 hold it, hold it, drop down, start again. Slow, 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 hold it, drop down, start it again. So there's another modification for you. I hope you like this. So go down, let me know, like it, share it, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, you guys know all the links to all the different programs that we have are all going to be at the bottom. Hope you liked it.